Hey guys, Tamla here. Today we're going to be comparing two cleansers by La Roche Posay. This is something you're interested in. Make sure to keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is to describe these products for you guys. So we're starting first with La Roche Posay Tolerain purifying foaming face wash i don't know if i said the name well this cleanser is described to be a daily face wash for people who have normal oily to sensitive skin according to the brand it claims to be a gentle face wash that cleanses dirt makeup and other impurities while maintaining the skin natural moisture and ph it's a gentle foaming formula that leaves the skin feeling clean, fresh, comfortable without clogging one's pores. Now it's time for us to talk about the texture and the consistency. This has a gel-like texture. It is not too thick, not too runny in consistency. A little goes a long way. It does lather so beautifully. You guys will see that in a moment. So the next product is Effaclair Micro Peeling purifying gel cleanser so this is described to be a facial and body wash especially formulated for those who have oily to acne prone skin so it deeply unclogs and targets persistent imperfection while purifying refining and renewing the complexion now it's time to talk about the texture and consistency this also has a gel-like texture. It is a lot more liquid than the previous one. Um, it's a lot more liquid, but it's also not too thick, not too runny, but it's a lot liquid than the other one. So now it's time to apply both products. So on this side of my face would be this product, and on this side of my face would be this product. First thing first is to go wet my face. So I've slightly wet my face. I had to put this towel on because you used to clean my face on here because I just don't want a situation whereby water is all over my outfit because I'm stepping out in a bit. So here we're going to be applying purifying face wash which is right here. Um, let me unlock this. I'm just going to you know I don't think that is visible, but that's enough because since we're focusing on one side of the face, but this is definitely for everywhere. And I'm just going to, oops. I'm going to shake this one too. And just take a little more, like so. So we definitely have the cleansers. I'm now walking my way in. So like I said, that this is a lot thicker, it is. Okay, they both have a good sleep, love it so much. They both really lather well. This side is a lot cooling than this side, like here is not cooling at all, but here is a lot cooling and that's because it contains methyl. It doesn't clog my pores at all and um, it's not drying. But let me rinse out and I'll be back to talk more on it. Certainly back from rinsing my face. Now it's time to towel dry. Still go with all my shirts, wow. Okay, so. Just give me a moment, give me a moment. So I have to apply lip balm because I'm not going to be applying moisturizer immediately. Let's jump to ingredients. For the Tolerine Purifying Foaming Cleanser, um, this contains niacinamide, ceramide NP, and glycerine. It is fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and essential oil-free. Let me smell that and see what's up. This has a, you know, little scent. It just has this sweet scent. And um, when you buy new dolls, I do get that new doll scent. You know when you like take off the clothing from the doll and you um, sniff it? I get that vibe from it. So it's not overpowering, even if I know it says it's fragrance-free, but it just does still have a scent to it. 
So the Everclear Micropylene Purifying Foaming Cleanser contains salicylic acid, menthol, glycerine, zinc gluconate. Zinc gluconate um, helps with wound healing and LHA. It's a type of salicylic acid. It is fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and essential oil-free. But I'm going to definitely sniff this to tell you guys what I think. Hmm. This I can't perceive anything at all. Like at all, at all. With deep sniffing, I can definitely perceive the methyl, but I had to sniff really deep. It took me a while. Next thing is price. This retails for $15. The big size of this retails for $15. Or 20 pounds depending where you get it from so $15 15 or 20 pounds for the big size like this so now it's time to talk about the difference I'm starting first with this particular product right here so what I noticed is that in the ingredient list this doesn't contain salicylic acid it doesn't contain methyl it also doesn't exfoliate the skin and lastly it's just for face this particular product right here this contains salicylic acid it contains methyl it's exfoliates the skin and it's also for the face and body if you have like acne on your body you should pick up the Everclear micro peeling purifying gel wash so those are the differences I spotted what makes them similar they're both cleansers but from La Roche-Posay they both do not contain um, fragrance alcohol or essential oils they're both great gel cleansers. If you find them, pick them up. I totally recommend and I like them. Um, if you are really scared of the fact that this product contain, one of them contains methyl, go for the other one and you'll be fine. You know, honestly, these are like my favorite cleansers for this year, 2021. I feel like this particular cleanser is going to be a staple in my skincare routine. Like, come on, this is a 400 ml bottle and it's great. I don't know if I should compare this with the CeraVe foaming cleanser. If I can get my hands on the CeraVe, I think I'll, you know, review it for you guys. But if not, we pass. Time for final thoughts. I really like book cleansers and I recommend you to pick it. Pick either of them based on your skin type. This is a great everyday cleanser. It's not stripping. It's not drying. It's amazing. It's also giving me that bleach texture because bleach... Bleez, um cleansers in general are gel cleansers, at least the two I have used. The only thing is that Bleez is a little fragrance as opposed to this one. So um, yeah, this is really, really good. Like if you have sensitive skin, you're going to love this because you're not going to get irritated whatsoever. If you also have acne prone skin, you can pick this up. It's good for everybody if you ask me. I feel like dry skin can also get away with using this particular cleanser. Weirdly, I feel that way because it's a great everyday wash. Um, I, for one, recommend this to anyone. <laughs> so pick it up if you find it around you. You'll definitely be repurchasing this after the first bottle. Okay, so enough about this. Then this one is also really good. Like some days when I use it, I'm so happy with how my skin feels, but I tend not to use it every day. Either of my cleansers, I don't use them every day. I make sure like I alternate my cleanser so I could use this today, use another one and vice versa. So this is really good. If you have sensitive skin, you may want to skip this out because it is cooling, like I said, and it does contain methyl. Though the methyl doesn't smell, but it, you're definitely going to get a cooling sensation. Doesn't mean it's going to, um, doesn't mean it's going to, you know, burn your skin or anything, but there's just cooling, cooling, um, sensation it does give. It's great that you can also use this for your body, especially if you have like breakouts on your chest or your back. I'm happy that that was, you know, inscribed on it. So on a general note, I normally would use any facial cleanser doesn't work on my face. I use it for my body. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you do it. If you do it, let me know in the comment section. Yeah, so that's all about this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Also, let me know if you've tried out these cleansers, which of them you prefer, or what product from La roche are you currently enjoying. Until next time, guys. Bye. Make sure you watch my other videos. Thank you.